are two basic categories of digital images. They're called raster and vector graphics, and they have different properties and different uses. I know what you're thinking. Raster, vector, so what's a JPEG or a GIF then? All the other specific file types like GIF, JPEG, PNG, EPS, and Flash fall into these two categories. Let me explain. Most images you see on the web are considered a bitmap or raster graphic, a map of the bits or pixels. And for the most part, they look great. See? Fine, right? However, when you go to enlarge a bitmap, it can become pixelated or blocky. Hmm, not so nice anymore. If you wanted a graphic that you could rescale without losing the quality, you would want a vector graphic instead of a raster graphic. In this video, we're going to discuss the differences between raster graphics and vector graphics. Each of them has its pros and cons, so knowing more about them ought to help you choose when to use each type. Raster graphics are digital images that can be created and manipulated in graphics programs like Adobe Photoshop, MS Paint, or Earfin View. Raster graphics are made up of pixels, the smallest dot that can be represented, and each one represents a color. When you put all the dots or pixels together, you get your image. This type of file is sometimes referred to as a bitmap because it contains information that is directly mapped to the display grid. You can imagine this as a huge grid with each square being assigned a color. This is basically what your display screen is. The problem with raster graphics is that to enlarge the image, you have to enlarge each pixel, and it can start looking blocky or grainy. It loses resolution because you're simply enlarging the same number of dots or pixels. So to keep lots of information about your image, you may have to save some very large files. Some examples of raster files are bitmap, jpeg, gif, ping, and tiff. Vector graphics solve some of these problems, but are not the answer to everything. You will often see vector graphics on the web in the form of flash animations. A vector graphic is defined mathematically by points and curves rather than by pixels. They're easy to scale up or down because they store geometric information about shapes, lines, and surfaces called vectors. A vector graphic describes a series of points along a path to be connected, which results in a much smaller file. Now, instead of saving information for every point in a circle, you just have to save information indicating that it is a circle, and it is of this size and this color. This takes up much less space in a file than all the color and pixel information in a raster. Vector graphics are also easier to manipulate than raster files files and do not lose quality through modification. You can use programs like Adobe Illustrator, Flash, and CorelDRAW to create vector graphics. This type of image usually ends in an extension like EPS, SWF, and SVG. Even programs like PowerPoint will create them, but they aren't as portable to other programs. Now let's talk fonts. Fonts are the letters and characters that you use and see on your computers. This font is very popular and is called Times New Roman. If a font is based on vectors, it can be made any size without any loss of quality. These are called scalable fonts. Vector graphics are not rasterized until the last possible moment, so in theory they can be displayed or printed at almost any resolution or size. So, while most of the images you work with will probably be raster images, like those from a digital camera, scanner, or paint program, there are many important differences. Vector graphics will not lose image quality when you modify them, and are usually much smaller files. So, particularly when you are working on something for the internet, start with vector graphics if you can. 
But be aware that most browsers have limited display capabilities for vector files, as do most default image viewers. So while your browser can view most of the common raster types without any extra software, the same might not be true of vectors. SWF or flash files are supported within web pages, and PDF files try to store as much of their content as possible in vector format. But these require you to install a plugin viewer, or they won't work correctly when you view the web page. Likewise, most default image viewers do not have vector support, so it may not be the best choice for, say, sending an image to someone if you aren't sure if they have the software to view it. Knowing the difference between raster and vector graphics is useful groundwork to continue learning about digital images.